everybody welcome to another video this is going to be a, a quick one I, my phone is not on my tripod right now i want to talk to you guys about something that's going to be happening in me in starting in the fall or august so as you all know i am in a transit transition program for people with disabilities with sasa the, the school association for special education um i am going into a new program called the uh, project search which is about a nine month long program it's at um, a local hospital, which I won't say where. Um, it's for it's more it's for job skills training for people with disabilities. It's much more advanced than the transition program because like they they put you in real life situations where um, they try to make you as independent as possible. I don't know what that sound was. It was probably Zeke. Um, but anyways, um, so Project Search is. Um, it's really going to advance my skill set because in this program, um, it's collaborated with SAS. They're collaborated with SAS, which is convenient because I've been with SAS since I was three. Um, um, so it'll be my last year. My transition program is for 18 to 24 year olds. I am 20 years old. I'll be 21 in about on May 30th of this year. Um, like you have to be ready to be, it's going to be your last year in your transition program. When you move on to Project Search, I am going to do the summer school at the Transition Center. And then I will be done with Transition. And then I'll move on to um, move on to the next phase of my life. So I can't wait to take you all on this journey with me. Next year, it's starting in August. No, not 18 to 24, 18 to 22 years old, excuse me. But yeah, I can't wait to take you all on this journey with me. Zeke, well, of course, will be coming along. Um... And um, I just did my orientation there. I'm going to be doing an intake pretty soon. Um, probably where I'm going to get my badge and all that stuff. Because, you know, in a hospital, it's like a lot of stuff locked off. But, you know, anyways. Um, so, yeah, um, I figured, like, I was going to stay one more year at the transition center. But I figured uh, it's time for me to move on to the next phase of my life. It is emotional for me. But I'm ready. I feel I feel ready enough to move on. So yeah. Anyways, um, I hope you all um are excited. I hope you all are excited. For oh, one more thing to add before I end the video. So uh, project uh, uh, the first semester of Project Search. It's set up like a general academic school year. The first semester is volunteer internships throughout the hospital, and then in second semester it's uh, paid internships so by then um, I would most likely have a paid internship or job somewhere throughout the hospital or in the community um, it, because at the end of the program 96% of student interns that are disabled get um, a paid job at the end of the program which is why I chose to get this opportunity um, so yeah I had a friend who did project search at the same hospital I'm going to back when I was a freshman in high school. And also another friend who did project search um, that now used to live in my home state, Illinois. That's what's currently going on in my life. Um, as I said, I can't wait to take you all on this journey with me. It'll be very exciting um, to, to come along with Zeke and I and um, see where my life takes me the final step, um, like completing my education and, um, just basically getting a finally a paid job that I've, uh, that I've always loved to do. Hope you all enjoyed this video today. Comment, like, and subscribe, and that'll be it. See you all in the next video. Bye.